Far beyond our atmosphere, across the silent void of space, our blue world spins, a vibrant oasis teeming with life. It rotates endlessly, a testament to the delicate balance that sustains us. We gaze out, ever curious about the cosmos, its mysteries beckoning us to explore. We wonder, with a sense of both awe and profound curiosity, are we alone in this vast, star-strewn expanse? Is there another flicker of life, another civilization gazing back at us across the gulf of interstellar space? For centuries, Mars, the red planet, has captured our imagination, fueling our dreams of interplanetary travel and the possibility of life beyond Earth. It has been a constant source of speculation and wonder. It hangs in our night sky, a beacon of possibility, a rusty-hued promise shimmering in the darkness, inviting us to look closer and unravel its secrets. A world both alien and strangely familiar, a landscape of red dust and towering mountains that somehow echoes our own terrestrial landscapes, sparking a sense of connection across the vast gulf of space. Once fueled by imagination and limited data, we imagined Martian canals and civilizations, a romantic vision of a dying world struggling to survive. Now our probes and rovers, tireless explorers of the Martian surface, send back images of a complex, mysterious world, far more intricate and fascinating than we ever imagined. Mars whispers of a watery past, of ancient lakes and rivers that once flowed across its surface, hinting at a time when the planet may have been far more hospitable to life, and perhaps something more. Perhaps echoes of life itself preserved in the Martian soil, waiting to be discovered. Our quest is not just scientific. It's not merely about collecting data and analysing rocks. It's a search for meaning, for connection in the universe, a fundamental human drive to understand our place in the cosmos. The evidence we gather challenges our understanding, forcing us to reconsider our assumptions about the origins and possibilities of life. Of life and civilization, pushing the boundaries of what we believe is possible and reshaping our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we turn our gaze to Mars, with ever more sophisticated instruments and ambitious missions, we listen for faint signals, for whispers carried on the solar wind, hoping to detect some sign, some indication that we are not alone, for stories locked in ancient rocks, for clues hidden within the planet's geological record waiting to be deciphered. What secrets lie beneath its crimson dust? What mysteries are buried beneath the shifting sands of the Martian landscape? The planet waits, holding its breath, patiently guarding its secrets, waiting for us to finally unlock them. The greatest adventure is not just reaching Mars, not just planting our flag on its surface, but uncovering the truths it has kept for eons, revealing the deep history and unlocking the ancient secrets of this enigmatic world. On July 25, 1976, a moment etched in the annals of space exploration, Viking 1, a pioneering spacecraft, diligently orbited Mars, meticulously mapping its rusty surface. Its mission was to unveil the secrets hidden within the Red Planet's enigmatic terrain, capturing images that would ignite the imagination of the world. In its 35th orbit, a pivotal moment in its Martian sojourn, it captured image 35A72 of Cydonia, a region previously unknown, a place that held a secret waiting to be discovered. A region that, unbeknownst to the scientists at the time, would soon become legendary, a focal point of speculation and wonder. Amidst the familiar landscape of craters, a testament to eons of cosmic impacts, a colossal humanoid face unexpectedly appeared, an anomaly that defied easy explanation and sparked endless debate. This wasn't a small feature. It was a massive structure, nearly three kilometers long, dwarfing any natural rock formation in the vicinity. The image, once processed and revealed, stunned the world, sending ripples of excitement and disbelief across the globe. It was undeniably a face, complete with what appeared to be eyes, a distinct nose, and a clearly defined mouth and adding to the mystery, a helmet-like feature or crown adorned its head. Was this an intentional creation, a monument deliberately left by a long-lost civilization, a testament to their existence? The face on Mars immediately ignited public fascination, capturing the imagination of millions and fueling speculation about life beyond Earth. 
It played a significant role in transforming Mars exploration from a purely scientific endeavor into a global phenomenon, captivating the hearts and minds of people worldwide. It resonated deeply with our innate human desire to find connection in the vast enigmatic cosmos, to know we are not alone. The sheer scale of the formation was staggering, almost incomprehensible. If indeed artificial, it implied the existence of a civilization of master engineers, capable of feats beyond our current understanding. The face became a silent sentinel, a watchful guardian of the Martian plains, posing a profound and enduring question to humanity, a question that continues to fuel our curiosity. Who built me, and perhaps more importantly, why? What message were they trying to convey? This single remarkable image, a snapshot of the unknown, set off decades of intense debate, rigorous investigation, and passionate speculation within the scientific community and beyond. The search for definitive answers for the truth behind the face on Mars had only just begun and continues to this day. The face on Mars quickly became a cultural icon, sparking excitement and speculation. Many saw it as proof of extraterrestrial life, while NASA responded with skepticism. Scientists explained it as pareidolia, a trick of light and shadow on a natural mesa. Yet the symmetry and detail seemed too precise for some to dismiss. Accusations of a cover-up emerged, fueling mistrust and conspiracy theories. The debate split into two camps, those who saw a geological oddity and those who saw evidence of lost intelligence. Calls for more rigorous investigation grew louder. The controversy set the stage for a struggle between official science and independent researchers. The truth, it seemed, would require a closer look at Mars. The face was just the beginning. Researchers soon found more anomalies in Cydonia. Nearby, a cluster of pyramid-like structures appeared, with smooth faces and sharp edges. The largest, the d &M pyramid, was five-sided rare in natural geology. These structures seemed arranged with mathematical precision, hinting at intelligent design. Their alignment with astronomical events mirrored ancient sites on Earth. The area resembled a ruined city, not random geology. The scale dwarfed Egypt's pyramids, suggesting a civilization of immense capability. A single face could be coincidence, but a city of pyramids? harder to dismiss. The Cydonia complex transformed Mars from a scientific curiosity to a potential archaeological site. Who built these monuments and what became of them? The geometry of Cydonia echoed principles found in ancient Earth sites. Angles and distances between features seemed to encode constants like pi and the golden ratio. The structures aligned with the Martian solstice, much like Stonehenge or Giza. Other Martian regions, like the so-called Inca city, resembled terrestrial ruins. While geologists offered natural explanations, the regularity of these patterns kept debate alive. The parallels fueled theories of shared origins or ancient contact. Could life on Earth and Mars be connected? These echoes force us to wonder if the impulse to build and reach for the stars is universal. While NASA dismissed the anomalies, independent researchers pressed on. Vincent Di Pietro and Gregory Molinar enhanced Viking images, revealing bilateral symmetry in the face. Dr. Mark Carlotto's analysis supported the artificiality hypothesis, noting city-like grids and improbable patterns. Richard C. Hoagland proposed the Cydonia hypothesis. The complex was a mathematical message from an advanced civilization. These researchers faced criticism but persisted arguing that science must follow the evidence. Their work ensured Cydonia remained a priority for future missions. The debate between mainstream science and independent inquiry intensified. The search for truth demanded better data and open minds. Would new images finally resolve the mystery? In 1998 and 2001, a new chapter in the Cydonia saga began to unfold. NASA's Mars Global Surveyor, equipped with significantly improved camera technology, returned to the Cydonia region. The anticipation was palpable. Would these new images finally solve the mystery of the face on Mars, or would they only deepen the enigma? The new images, captured from a variety of angles and under different lighting conditions, offered a fresh perspective on the Martian landscape. 
Scientists hoped that these varied viewpoints would provide a more comprehensive understanding of the Cydonia region's geological features. What emerged from the data was an image of a weathered mesa, a natural rock formation sculpted by the relentless forces of erosion over eons. Based on this new evidence, NASA officially declared the case closed, asserting that the face on Mars was nothing more than a trick of light and shadow on a naturally occurring geological structure. However, the declaration did little to quell the controversy. Independent researchers, many of whom had long been fascinated by the Cydonia region, challenged the official findings. They raised concerns about potential image distortion and the possibility of data manipulation, suggesting that the images released by NASA might not present a completely accurate representation of the Martian surface. Richard Hoagland's team, a prominent voice in the face on Mars debate, took the initiative to reprocess the raw data from the Mars Global Surveyor. After applying their own image enhancement techniques, they claimed that the face was still clearly visible albeit significantly eroded by the passage of time and the harsh Martian environment. While the higher resolution images undeniably revealed a less perfect symmetry than the original Viking photos, leading many to dismiss the artificiality hypothesis, certain features reminiscent of facial characteristics stubbornly persisted, fueling the ongoing debate. The debate deepened, becoming more polarized and entrenched, was the face on Mars simply a natural hill shaped by random geological processes, or could it be the remnants of a long-lost ruined monument, a testament to an ancient Martian civilization? As the controversy raged on, accusations of a cover-up began to surface and grew louder. Critics argued that NASA's official releases seemed carefully crafted to downplay any anomalies or unusual features in the Cydonia region, further fueling suspicions of a deliberate attempt to suppress the truth. For skeptics, the new photos provided definitive proof that the face was nothing more than a natural geological formation, a product of Martian geology and erosion. But for believers, the images, even with their imperfections, still hinted at the possibility of an ancient artifact, a relic of a civilization that once thrived on the red planet. They saw the face as a testament to a forgotten past obscured not only by the ravages of time and erosion, but also by what they perceived as official narratives designed to conceal the truth. In the end, the controversy surrounding the face on Mars only served to raise more questions than it answered, adding layers of complexity to an already perplexing mystery. Despite the efforts to debunk it, the mystery of Cydonia, with its enigmatic face on Mars, refused to fade away continuing to capture the imagination of scientists, researchers, and conspiracy theorists alike. Beyond Sidonia, Mars is filled with enigmatic features. The Inca city near the South Pole displays geometric patterns that defy easy explanation. On Phobos, Mars's moon, stands the Phobos monolith, a solitary, rectangular object that looks artificial. Rovers have photographed tube-like structures, strange spheres, and even door-like entrances in rocks. Each anomaly can be explained away, but together they form a mosaic of strangeness. The sheer variety suggests Mars is far from geologically simple. These enigmas keep us searching, questioning, and wondering what secrets remain hidden. Mars continues to challenge our understanding at every turn. If Mars once hosted a civilization, what destroyed it? Dr. John Brandenburg theorizes a nuclear catastrophe citing radioactive isotopes in the Martian soil. He points to two epicenters of possible explosions, suggesting deliberate annihilation. The red dust, he argues, is the residue of this ancient disaster. While controversial, the theory offers a chilling explanation for Mars's transformation from a world of oceans to a barren wasteland. It stands as a warning for our own civilization. As we prepare to send humans to Mars, the planet's secrets grow more urgent. The truth is written in Martian dust, waiting for us to uncover it.